What's going on y'all? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Imani Murray and this is my YouTube channel where I share social media tips to help brands and businesses grow their platforms. And in today's video, we're going to be discussing Instagram's latest feature, Reels. Now, if you checked out one of my recent what's new with Instagram, then you would know Reels is Instagram's version of TikTok. The only real difference between the two platforms are the time length. TikTok gives you to talk. TikTok gives you 15 seconds or 60 seconds um, clips and Reels allows you to only record 15 second clips. Everything else is pretty much the same. If you haven't checked that video out, I will link it here and I will link it below. This video is a part one of a two part series that I'm going to do. Like I said, we're gonna be discussing how to actually use Reels. And then in the second video, we're going to discuss why you should be using it to help grow your brand or business. So let's get right into it. Let's create a Reel. So the first step in creating a Reel is to swipe right on your screen or click the camera on the top left on the home feed. Just as you would be creating a story, that's what you're really gonna do here. When you get to the camera side, you'll see three options at the bottom that say live, story, and Reels. Obviously, you're gonna go and click on Reels and four initial functions will pop up on the left-hand side. So that is audio, speed, effects and timer before we actually get into what these four functions do keep in mind that you can also create your reel outside of the app and then upload it so at the bottom you'll see like the gallery you can upload you can create your video edit it everything outside of instagram and then upload it into the app i did that with my first reel i created it in my one of my favorite apps InShot, and then i uploaded it to instagram so you don't have to necessarily record it in the app or edit it in the app. All right, so let's get into the four functions. Like I said, you have audio, speed, effects, and timer. So audio is music provided by Instagram. You have a for you section and you have the browse section, which breaks it down into genre, themes, and moods. When you select the audio or a song, whatever, you then are able to select the portion of the song that you want to use. Remember, it's only 15 seconds. So whichever portion of the song you want to use, you're able to use the slider and select that portion. Another thing to note is, as far as audio, you don't have to use the audio provided by Instagram. You can use your own audio. So if there's something you want to record, you can use your own, you can just go ahead and start recording without implementing any audio from the app. And if you want to use somebody else's audio, then what you would do is the bottom of a reel, you'll see the audio at the bottom of the bottom left. You click on the reel, it'll take you to another page. And at that, at the bottom of that page is where you click use audio. Unfortunately, you cannot save the audio like you can in TikTok, but the way to get around that is just saving the actual reel. So you can use music provided by Instagram. You can use your own audio or you can use someone else's audio that they've used already in a reel. So you have three different ways to use audio. Next up is your speed. It's pretty simple. You can choose the speed of your clip. So if you want it to be sped up, slow down, if you want it to be in real time, pretty it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click the speed and then click the speed you want to use and then start recording. Straight to the point. Next up are the effects. Honestly, reels are like a fancier story. Pretty much everything that you do in stories, you can do in real. So with that said, the next option is effects. The same effects you use in your story, you can use in your reels. So just as your effects pop up at the bottom of your screen when you're doing a story, it'll do the same thing in your reel. Just click effect, it'll populate at the bottom and choose whatever effects you wanna use. Another good thing that you should know about our green screens are included in these reels, in these effects. So, and those are one of the top effects used when doing reels. Because everybody knows that's a hit on TikTok and using green screen. So just keep that in mind when you're creating your reel. The next function is the timer. The timer function allows you to select the length of the clip that you want to record. So remember, like I said, reels are only 15 seconds. So if you want one of your first clips to be three seconds, you can go ahead and adjust the slider at the bottom to three seconds. When you're ready to go and record, all you have to do is click the button, three second countdown will start, 
and then you will go ahead and it'll allow you to record a three second clip. You don't have to rec you don't have to always use the timer option if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and start recording. The good thing about the timer option, it is a hands-free function. So after you click the record button, you don't have to worry about holding down the button. If you don't want to use the timer function, then you would have to go ahead and hold down the button. Does that make sense? So timer, you can be hands-free. No timer, you can't be hands-free. And also, at the top of the screen, you will see the progress bar, which allows you to... It doesn't give you a time, like it doesn't show you the time that you have left, but you can see how much of the seconds, you, how much of the time you've used so far. So we went through the four main functions that are provided, that are initially provided when you are about to do a reel. After, you've rec after you have recorded some clips, you'll then see another function that pops up, which is called the align function. So the align function allows you to line up objects from your previous clip for when you're recording your next clip. Using the align function allows you to create seamless transitions. So your, your transitions are gonna be real elite if you use this option because you're able to line up the objects in from your previous clip. Okay, so we have audio, we have your speed, we have your effects and timer, and then we have a line. Those are the main functions when creating a reel. So now that you've recorded all your content and created your content, you've aligned everything, you've added audio, you have your effects, all of the above, there are some things that you need to keep in mind. When you are creating your clips, you can only create, you can only edit the current clip. So say you have three clips and you wanna edit the second clip you cannot do that you would have to delete the third clip <laughs> you would have to delete the third clip and then it'll pro and then it'll allow you to edit the second one you can't go back multiple clips you can only go back on that current clip and then when it's time to edit it you want to if you want to trash it or trim it you can do so but you can't go back and edit the first and second clip does that make sense and then when you're um say you have certain settings that you've assigned to your clip and you, you sped things up, you added certain effects. When you record your next clip, you're gonna have to go back in and set those same settings because Instagram will reset your settings after you finish recording a clip. Now that we've covered all of that, the next step is to add your, your draw. If you wanna draw on your reel, if you wanna add any text, you wanna add Instagram stickers, all you have to do is click the right arrow at the bottom. It'll prompt you to that page. It looks just like if you were creating a story. When you're ready to actually go and add text, click on the text button at the top of the, at the, top of the screen and then go ahead and start typing whatever you want. Now, if you want certain text to populate in certain segments of the video, this is where things get a little tricky. So, make sure you're inserting the text in the order you want it to appear. So say we're going to write how to use Instagram Reels. So I'm gonna type how to first, and then use, and then Instagram Reels, because that's how I want it to appear in the video. Since how to is going to be the first text that pops up, we're going to make sure that's the first text that I have inputted. You click on how to, and then you'll see at the bottom above the slider, it will become white. When it comes to the slider, you wanna make sure that you are trimming it to wherever you want the text to appear. So if you only want it to appear in the first three seconds of the video or the first few seconds of the video, you slide it on all the way to the beginning, adjust it so that it does fit that length that you want it to be, right? And then you click off of that and you click on to use and do the same thing. Just adjust it for however long you want it to appear and when you want it to appear. And then same thing for Instagram Reels. Now, don't worry that the text is faded out. That's just Instagram showing you that the text will not appear. If the text is there, but it won't appear where, wherever it's faded out. So when you add your text, your Instagram stickers, if you want to add some drawings, after you've done all of that, you're going to click the next arrow again, and this will prompt you to add in your cover, your captions, and where you want to share it. So 
your cover, it can be a photo you already have in your camera roll that you can upload. It can be something that stays on brand. So if something you made maybe in Canva or whatever, however you want to make your branded um, cover, you can go ahead and you can upload that. You can upload just a regular picture or you can use a picture from the actual reel, right? So boom, now you got your cover. And then your caption, you wanna make sure that it's short and sweet and to the point, but also conveying what your reel is about. Only because, just like TikTok, the captions are at the bottom and nobody, it's, it's kinda, I don't wanna say it's hard to read, but the focus is the actual video. It's not the captions, okay? So you wanna just make sure it's short and to the point, but also conveying what you wanna say. And of course, you wanna use hashtags. I always, listen, y'all know how I feel about hashtags. Use your hashtags, it's just a couple, maybe about five. Now that you have your actual content, you have three C's, the content, caption, and cover. Oh, I'm gonna say that, I like that. You have the three C's, the content, the caption, and the cover, and now it's time to actually share it. So there are a few multiple ways, there are a few multiple ways. There are a couple of ways that you can actually share your reel. So you can share it to the real feel, the real feed, which is located in your explore page. You can share it to your actual Instagram grid feed, and you can share it to your stories. Like I said earlier in the video, reels are just a fancier version of stories. And if your reel is featured in the explore real feed, then you will receive a notification um, from Instagram notifying you that you actually made it to an elite group of people and made it into the real field. Why do I keep saying the real field, <laughs> the real deal, the real feed? Um, so yeah, so that's how you use uh, Instagram Reels. Hopefully I wasn't confusing. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you're gonna go out and try and make one. They're pretty simple. It's literally stories, Instagram stories and TikTok combined in one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms at Itimani Murray as always. This is part one. Make sure you come back next week for the second part on how or why you should be using Reels to help grow your brand and business. It's gonna be a good one. And yeah, I will see you next week. Let me know in the comment section if you are going to be implementing reels into your social media strategy, if you're even using it, if you're a fan of it, if you hate it, if you're over it, let me know. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.